guess what we're doing today. We are going to consignment. So I am just letting my car warm up and then we'll head over. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a part-time reseller based in Calgary, Alberta. As you can see, it is cold here. My car is all frosted up. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark Canada, Poshmark US, and like dabble in eBay, Etsy, Marketplace, that kind of stuff, but mostly Poshmark. And um, yeah, today we are going to consignment. So my boyfriend's mom is coming to stay with us next week, or the week after, I think. Um, maybe next week. And the spare bedroom, which is like the reselling room, was out of control. When my dad came to stay with us, in the summer I literally chucked so much stuff just in our storage like stuff that had never been photographed never been listed never like been videoed for a haul for YouTube like nothing um so when my mother-in-law said she was coming to stay with us I am so excited I love her um but she stays in the spare room obviously so I was like, now is the time to get my button gear and get some of this stuff dealt with. So I grabbed everything from the storage and filled up two Ikea bags to bring to consignment. Um, this is not a video on like how to make money at consignment because some of this stuff was thrifted for like $12, $13. And I was just like, am I realistically gonna list this like in the next month? If not, I'm gonna bring it to consignment because I have so much stuff right now that um, I just haven't dealt with. So. I'm going to go today and tomorrow, I think. I haven't decided which consignment store I'm going to go on which day. I'm literally sitting here not even knowing where I'm going to be driving. I think I'm going to go to Plato's today. Um, Plato's today, style on court tomorrow. And then we'll see how much stuff we have left. Also, it was just Black Friday. So, Dustin and I spent, like, a little bit of money. Um, we bought flights to go to his parents for Christmas and then to go to my dad's for Christmas. Um, we just went to Mexico, we just bought a new bed frame, um, you know, expensive stuff. So I'm hoping that I can like make a little bit of money to just like make it not feel so scary. So let's go. Pretty sure that's like exactly what you're not supposed to do but I have the heater on I'm sure it'll be fine okay before leaving I had to freaking place a hundred dollar Amazon order for like stuff that we're out of and stuff that I need to get for um Dustin's Christmas present that I'm making so it's already an expensive day and I haven't even left the house yet to make money okay Finally, finally, I wanted to be there when they opened, which was 10 o'clock, and it's 10 o'clock, and I'm just leaving. So, let's go. Okay, so I decided Play-Dohs today because I feel like they usually give me the most, and they are quickish. Um, one Play-Dohs, not the Play-Dohs nearest to me. The Play-Dohs nearest to me um, never buys anything and they are so slow. So that is my plan right now. Um, and then Style Encore tomorrow. Again, this Style Encore just like has been consistent for me. Um, when I bring stuff in, they are, yeah, they're good. They are good. So. That's the plan. Let's see how much I can make in two days with two IKEA bags. I was trying to show you guys the mountains, but that did not work so off we keep going I'm probably halfway there okay they said it would be less than an hour so I'm just gonna go to the Goodwill next door and see and then go to like 
back to Play-Dohs and look to see if there's anything I want to get. Um, I'm kind of looking for Gymshark shorts right now. So we'll see. I just left Plato's and they actually um, bought quite a few items and paid me $200 so at the end of the day um, I probably came out even I would say because there was a lot of stuff from the bins in there too um, there was just some things that I thrifted too but whatever at this point um, you know it was a loss so um, or a write-off or whatever you know what I mean like it, it was just stuff that I was just sitting there and wasn't getting listed I wasn't excited to list so um, yeah just heading back home I'm still gonna go to Plato's tomorrow there's like a couple things I had pulled from the bags I mean I'm still gonna go to Style Encore tomorrow um, there's a few things in there that I think are like definitely more geared to Style Encore so that is my plan right now and so yeah i'm just going home i'm going to take my makeup off and get changed and head to the gym with dustin um and so i will s i did also spend some money at goodwill and some money at play-dohs um just on some items i did not do a trade at play-dohs i like to keep things separate um just because that's just how i like to do things i know that it's better to do a trade because they do it like tax-free or whatever but for me personally, um, I just do keep it separate. I got a sweater at Goodwill. And what else did I get at Goodwill? I got like a little Santa hat. Oh, and I got Dustin a Hawaiian shirt. And then at Play-Dohs, I got myself Gymshark shorts. I wanted to get like biker shorts, Gymshark biker shorts, but they only had um, small ones. Obviously that's not gonna fit me right now. So I got like a different style of short. We'll see if I like them. I'm um, also got a Lululemon long sleeve and airy biker shorts, like short inseam ones. And one other thing, I forget, um, another shirt maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it was like $70. I had a $5 coupon I could use. So that was good. And um, yeah, so that's about it. That's all I have to report for today. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I was literally about to start leaving for day two of consignment. I was in my car and realized I forgot my wallet. So, gonna get my wallet and then leave for consignment day two. Let's see what Style Encore wants to buy from me. So I debated even going to consignment today because I feel like I have so much to do, but I also like need a day to relax. But I brought my laptop and headphones with me, so I will work on listing while they are sorting. Like, I'm thinking I'm just going to go to McDonald's and work off a hotspot and um, get some listing done, maybe. So I dropped off at Style Encore, and I was going to go to McDonald's to get some work done and get a coffee because... 
I knocked my entire coffee over this morning and had to clean it and didn't have a chance to like make myself a coffee before I left the house. So my plan was to go to McDonald's to get some work done on my laptop, but um, Style of course said they're just gonna be 25-ish minutes and uh, it's just doesn't really make sense to go to McDonald's to do that for that much time because it's like out of the way. So um, anyway, I'm on my way to Valley Village because it is just right down the street. How convenient. And um, so yeah, again, I'm in this position because I have too much stuff that is not listed. So we just have to be super, super, super picky and either only buy things for me, um, which I am kind of been doing lately just because I need new clothes. Um, or like buy something but only if it's like really 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 amazing and is gonna sell for like a thousand dollars you know um so yeah also i think i probably have a value village coupon in my email so i will have to check but i think i do have at least one in my email or my text or something so that would come in handy Okay, so it is time to go back to the consignment store and see what they bought. Honestly, I'm not super optimistic, only because Plato's did buy a considerable amount of what I brought yesterday. And I kind of wish I would have done Style Encore first because they do pay out more per item in my experience. Um, but I'd be happy with like a hundred bucks, let's say. Um, I'm leaving Value Village. I bought four things. I found a pair of UGG Adirondack boots, which are like my dream winter boot, but they're not my size. So I got them to sell, and then I can take that money and put it towards buying myself a pair that fits. And what else did I find? A pair of AS98 boots, a pair of On Cloud men's shoes, and a Reese dress or blouse I think um I checked comps on it like really quick and it looks like there's one listed on eBay for like 175 bucks so I grabbed it I did have a coupon it was a tiered coupon so like spend this much get this much blah 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 and it was save 30% when you spend 50 dollars so I got 30% off some of my items I I miss the 50% off days so bad I do and I don't because it was always a zoo in there during 50% off day but they just don't do that anymore and it kind of like I don't know it kind of sucks right like um but anyway enough about that uh yeah I'm excited. I spent like 75 bucks on four items. So yeah, my my cost of goods was higher, but the like each of those items should sell for well over $100. Um the Adirondack boots should sell like for yeah, a very healthy amount. Same with the AS98. They are kind of hit and miss for me, but I'm hoping these ones are a hit. They're super cute and what else the on cloud shoes yeah i'm hoping i feel like they're gaining popularity so i love this neighborhood so much i hope that when we buy a house it's in a neighborhood like this i love it so much anyway okay dustin is already home which i thought i was timing myself pretty well today but he ended class early so he's already on his way home i still have to pick up the stuff at style encore and then drive home so 
he'll be there before me, but that's okay. And um, yeah, all right. I will let you know how much I made at consignment in one minute. Bye. Okay, so they actually only bought five items for $35, which sounds bad, but I know that I should have taken a photo yesterday of how many items Plato's bought from me, but I know that they did not pay me $7 per item considering uh, they gave me a hundred, it was under $200, it was $192, and they probably bought like 20 things from me. Wait, who knows? Anyway point being that um, the pay at the Style Encore is higher so I think the next time I do this I will make that my first stop it just like I just wasn't really in the mood to go over there yesterday I was just in the mood to like I don't know go to the Play-Dohs I went to I guess um, so yeah and then tomorrow I was gonna go to one Play-Dohs that's by the Valley Village I always go to that's in the north of Calgary but I remembered that I actually have a peel scheduled for tomorrow like for my face um and my peel is at 11 and it's in like the deep south and there is a Play-Dohs down there there's also a style encore but I don't really like them so I think they open they must open at 10 because that kind of seems to be like the trend so I think I will bring my stuff up tonight and like refold it and take a few things out and um, bring whatever I have left over to Play-Dohs tomorrow before I go to my peel and then I'll like go pick it up after the peel only thing is that I can't show up to my peel like with makeup and obviously I'm not going to put makeup on right after my peel and I do feel like they treat you differently if you like look more put together when you're bringing stuff in and so I just won't have any makeup on which like to me whatever but I just hope that that doesn't mean that they don't buy much from me you know so that is my plan for tomorrow is to go to Play-Dohs and then get a peel and then pick up from Play-Dohs and then come home and I have a super special day tomorrow. So actually I also have no idea what I'm wearing tomorrow night. So I kind of have to figure that out and I also have my company Christmas party coming up and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear to that. So I have to figure that out too. I have been looking at dresses when I go thrifting but just like nothing has really made me super excited or made me feel like it was gonna look cute on me. So I am like full disclosure, and this has nothing to do with reselling, but it does, but it doesn't. Um, I am at my heaviest weight ever right now. So, and that is like not what the problem is. The problem is that I don't really have that many clothes right now that um, fit me well. So that's kind of been part of my reselling journey these days is thrifting for clothes that um, fit me where I'm at right now instead of freaking out and trying to like crash diet to lose weight to fit back into the clothes that I have I am being nice to myself for once and trying to find clothes that I feel confident in right now which is I'm not gonna like sit here and say that that is easy to do that is not super easy for me to do it's hard to not slip back into old habits um, which is like beating myself up basically but we're working on it and it's a work in progress and I have found some like really cute clothes that I like you know wearing so um, yeah that's kind of where I'm at <laughs> that was kind of a rant but that is what's going on so yeah I'm on my way home. Dustin is heating up some lunch for us. I made some picadillo. And so we're having that. And I'm gonna have a coffee finally since I haven't had a coffee yet today. And then we're just gonna hang out for a little bit and then head to the gym, I think. So that is what my day looks like. And I hope that everyone is having an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so I know that I said I was going to do more consignment today before my peel, but then I 
um, saw that there was, there's a new Italian grocery store near us. Um, and they're on the app Too Good To Go. I don't know. It's a Canadian thing maybe? No, it's not. It's in the US too and it's just like basically restaurants and grocery stores can put like whatever's left over at the end of the day on there that's like expiring and you can buy it for super cheap. And so there was like a morning surprise bag. And so I decided to buy one like super last minute last night and was like, oh, well, I guess I'm doing that instead of doing consignment. And then I was like, I don't want to go back to the consignment store after my peel. Like I'm going to want to just like come home. So anyway, I'm on my way to get my surprise bag and maybe I'll show you guys what's in it. This is like totally gone off the rails now, but whatever. Mm -hmm. 